do something like this. I would go test fizz buzz equals new fizz buzz. And I would go expected equals fizz. And I would go response equals test fizz buzz. Let's call our method, uh, uh, let's call it, uh, let's, because eval is evil, let's call it eval. Um, and we'll pass in a value that we know should create fizz, which is three. And then we go, this assert equals uh, expected response. And then I always, every single one of these assertion methods in PHP unit has a, um, a optional parameter where you can pass in a more verbose uh, message to be, to be displayed uh, in the case of a test failure. Um, I have found myself more and more relying on that um, to provide information. So in this case, I, could get, I would go did not get fizz as expected, okay? So, so if I go back to run this test, what should happen? Who wants to volunteer and tell me what should happen if I run it? Error. It should. So what? So what's the? So what's the first? What's the first error it, it'll give? Maybe the baby knows. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's no worries. I have little kids too, and I'm totally familiar with it. So the first thing that should error is that I should say that I can't find a fizz buzz. Okay. So let's just verify that. Right. Fatal error not found. So let's let's really quickly um, create our fizz buzz. So I'm going to do a little split here. Okay, so okay, so in this case we don't need a constructor because we're not injecting any dependencies. So we'll just do a method, right? Public function eval value. So um, so to get this test to pass, what's the bare minimum thing that we need to check for based on the test? Right. So, so in this case, we want to do uh, we want to check um, if it's divisible, right? So we can do this. We can go if string value mod three equals zero. Um, return fizz. So, oops, what did it like? Ah, oh, see, it doesn't, see, now I find out that I can't call it eval. So we'll call it evaluate. Cool, okay, so we're all set, okay? So in this case, we've implemented, and this is a very important concept that seems really trivial, but is really the cornerstone of test room development and um, agile iterative development in general. When you start doing test driven development, you create all these scenarios that you want to test for, and all you are supposed to do is write a bare minimum amount of code to make the test pass. So this means that we need to be extremely careful about not thinking too far ahead um, about what functionality we might need. All we need to worry about for now is uh, making sure that we've written enough code to pass our test. So let's see if this actually will work. Fatal error, class fizzbuzz not found. Okay, I know why that is. It's because down here in my test, I am not, um, I'm not including my, um, FizzBuzz class. I'm not including the file. So that should fix that particular problem, okay?